This is your CBS News Baltimore Evening Update for Wednesday, September the 20th. I'm Vic Carter. Adnan Saeed is calling on Maryland Attorney General Anthony Brown to look into what Saeed calls prosecutorial misconduct in his case. He did this during a three hour news conference in the basement of his parents' Baltimore County home. The detailed presentation highlights what he calls mistakes made in the original prosecution against him in 1999 after he was charged and eventually convicted in the death of his high school girlfriend, Heyman Lee. The legal saga surrounding Saeed has taken many twists and turns since his murder conviction was thrown out last year. Today, WJZ investigator Mike Kelgren spoke with Asia McLean Chapman, who has claimed since the beginning Saeed was with her when Heyman Lee was killed. I just think it's awful because this situation has decimated multiple families. And it also manages to add another layer of distrust to the American legal system. Initially at, at this for the time point, being, Saeed's future is unclear. He's waiting for Maryland's highest court to take up the case. Until it does, he won't have to return to prison. It's Art and Culture Week as we head into Artscape. And this weekend, the mayor, Brandon Scott, is announcing more investment into the community of arts. It's all through the American Rescue Plan, where a total of $6.2 million will be given to donate to cultural institutions. This means certain recreational programs in the city could be seeing some major improvements, including the Baltimore Museum of Art, the Walters Art Museum, and even the Baltimore Office of Promotion and the Arts. The mayor says Baltimore's arts community and artists define our city. These artists on um, these organizations help define what it means, what it means to be a Baltimorean and we will always be committed to supporting them. The biggest donation of the investment is to the Central United Way of Central Maryland. They got a whopping $4.5 million grant to support arts organizations. Baltimore County Police are looking for the suspect or suspects behind a series of attempted burglaries in Pikesville. It happened early Monday morning at the popular Festival of Woodhome Shopping Center on Reisterstown Road, not far from the Beltway. Police arrived to find the windows of at least four businesses smashed in. The burglars then attempted to remove money from cash registers. It's not clear if they got away with any cash. And that's your evening update for CBS News Baltimore. I'm Vic Carter.